Hi guys, I'm Rachel, Jazz Kitchen Manager here at the Feed Feed and today we're making ceviche. So a couple of months ago, I took a vacation to Miami. I know I'm wearing like a sweater right now, but I was in a bikini at the beach every day, all day long and all I ate was ceviche. So this dish is inspired by it. Let me say though, this is not traditional ceviche, it's just like a combination of everything that I ate while on vacation. I think everybody should take vacations right, every six months. We're all going to Fiji! <laughs> We're all going to Fiji! <laughs> okay, so I know you're used to cooking fish traditionally with heat, but here we are going to use the acidity from our lime juice to cook this. We're going to let this hang out in the fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes. I have some cilantro that is cleaned and washed nicely. I'm using the stems and the leaves. My favorite thing, chili, so I'm using jalapenos. But you know, if you don't like stuff spicy, just reduce the amount. And some cumin seeds, a little bit of salt. This is sugar, some lime juice, and a little bit of olive oil. Add rest of the olive oil. So our fish has been, you know, cooking in our lime juice for a little bit now and I do want to show you. You can see how the color of the flesh has changed and turned a little bit opaque and that's what we are looking for. So now I'm ready to plate. Put some of this bright green sauce on the bottom and then some of our fish. Just want to put the chunks here. I have to say though, I was not a fan of raw fish before but after I started eating you know, ceviches, I, it's a total game changer. And some sumo oranges. Been so obsessed with these lately. They cut all of that acidity from the lime and add a nice, like, juicy sweetness. And if you want to learn how to supreme citrus, you can go to our IGTV and check it out there. I have these red onions. Good. And last but not the least, some more sliced jalapenos. Having my little chef stable moment here. <laughs> if you don't like it very spicy, you don't need to add that many, but I do. Microgreens. And we're gonna add these beautiful edible flowers. So you don't have to head to Miami to enjoy a taste of the beach. You could enjoy it right here by making this amazing ceviche. Okay, thanks so much for watching. If you want this recipe, go over to the feed feed.